You got a lot of appointments today, sweetie? No, nah, just one repair job. Very special. All right, I'm going in. What is... What is this? A necklace? Happy 20th anniversary, babe. Wow, Dad, you remembered. Oh, yeah. Mom didn't. Oh, that's cold. I think I'm gonna bust out of here. So he gets off the train and nobody's there. Braden needs to spend at least one summer with you so he can say he has a dad, you deadbeat Higgins. Well, not to be mean, but I'm not even a thousand percent sure who you are. I was up from Florida, right in the middle of making out. I got a really bad case of the hiccups. Hiccups, McGee? Oh my God, I have a kid I don't know about with hiccups, McGee? And no offense, but I'm gonna have to ask for a DNA test, you know, because you just never... No need. Later, hiccups. You're him. Yeah, without the hat. <laughs> it's actually a good likeness. Uh, how you doing, man? I'm, uh, uh, I'm your dad. Nice to see you, Braden. That's strike one. Good news is you get unlimited amount of strikes. <laughs> um, how about I take you to school? No school. Summertime. Uh, yeah, not yet. One more day. I know, it's a drag. Normally, I'd let you just blow it off and play hooky, but... I'm volunteering at the soup kitchen today. So when I'm done, I'll come pick you up and we'll hang out. I got you this, but obviously you're like 13, so I don't know. But it's actually pretty nice, cute. We should cut the head off. Okay. Well, let's get going. Yo, 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 yo. Don't forget this. Is it a gift? No, it's the giggles worth massacre. I, I told Becky you could sew it back together for her. What? Martha Stewart couldn't fix this. Come on. Oh, but you're such a good daddy for picking up all the pieces. That's why I've been thinking. We moved back here to your hometown so we could have more quality time with our family, right? That's right. How would you feel about expanding? Having another kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, but it's perfect right now. You know, if I buy one large pizza, Greg gets two pieces, Keith gets two, Becky gets one, you get one, I get four. It's kind of perfect, you know? I don't want to have to buy another pie. Why don't you go on a diet, fat gordo -esque? Come on, I've had a job since I'm 16. It's the first time I've, I, I got a free schedule. I'm just enjoying the fun. Don't forget Becky's ballet recital at 11. I got to go to that? I mean, I get to go to that? Great. I'm saying that's good. I thought it was sold out. That's great news. Have the best last day of school, my gorgeous children. I love you all. Um, uh, yeah, last day of school, Greg. Last chance to ask out Nancy Arbuckle. Nancy Arbuckle, what's that? You like a girl? How are you been taking them long showers? No, I, I'm, I'm conditioning my hair. That's all I do in the shower. Condition my hair. That's not what the deer told me. That deer's a liar. Oh. I heard too much conditioning can make you go blind. What? Where'd you hear that? Higgins. Oh, I should kill him. He's too chicken to ask her out, Dad, because she's the hottest girl in school. And Greg is fugly. So what? He's fugly. All the guys in our family are fugly. That don't stop us from getting the hot chicks. Look at me and look at your mother. I mean, that makes no sense. Only in a, like a Hollywood movie or something. Every guy in school likes her, Dad. And you'll be the guy who ends up with her. You know why? You're going to follow my three-step program. Number one, make the girl smile. Number two, tell her she has a nice smile. Number three, say she has to go out with you that night. Why that night? Because it gives her less time to think about how fugly you are. Because you are fugly. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And Keithy's right. I'm too chicken to even talk to her. Hey, you're a fader. Faders ain't afraid of women, buddy. That's not the way I'm raising you. Oh, by the way, Dad, did you ask Mom if I can play football? No, I was scared. I'm afraid she's going to yell at me in that accent that no one understands. Mom, Becky, it's 8 o'clock. School starts at 8.15. That means we only have 25 minutes. Daddy, you promised Mr. Gigglesworth will be better by bedtime? Will you stop worrying about him? He'll be fine. I love you. Have the best last day, okay? Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.
And, and, and you read the, the street signs, okay? Don't let Bean. My God, riding their bikes to school. Couldn't do that in LA with the nuts out there. Yeah, because thank God there's no crazy people out here. How you doing, Nick? My wife's leaving me after three weeks. Three weeks? That's not bad for you. What, what happened? She found me eating a banana with my butt. Uh, and she didn't like that? Yeah, she got really bummed out. But, you know, I shouldn't have done it at her mom's house. Yeah, you, you uh, you seem like you're a little extra out of it today. What's, what's going on? Yeah, I'm a little medicated. I met a very reliable doctor at a Cypress Hill concert. And uh, he floated me a couple pills just to feel better, you know? But I don't feel better, you feel worse! Ladies and gentlemen, meet your new bus driver. Finally got yourself a job. Actually, I'm filling in for Julio Iglesias back there. <laughs> Deanne, happy anniversary. Oh, ah, thank you, Lenny. Lenny, remember, isn't that sweet? And I never got him pregnant. She forgot. Yeah, she forgot. No, I got the biggest get out of jail free card in the world. I want one of those. Oh, you ain't never get one like this. Hey, honey, I'm gonna take a ride to work with Lenny. Don't worry about forgetting the twentieth. I'm sure you'll remember the thirtieth. I love you. Yeah, sure you do. Deep down. That's not another necklace in there, is it? I'm gonna abuse this get out of jail free card. I'm telling you right now. I mean, maybe I'll walk on the good rug without taking off my boots. Oh. Or I'll have a nice non-diet soda with my dinner. Uh -huh. not, not just one either, a whole damn pitcher. Oh, so you're going full gangster. Oh yeah, but you know what I'd really like to do? Uh -huh. Throw a first night of summer party. Yeah. You know, something a little crazy. But it's been many, many years since we've done something crazy. Just one problem though. My house isn't big enough. But yours is. Oh, last party I had was senior year in high school. That was like the best night of my life. We all hooked up with chicks. Come on, why not do that again? Because we already have chicks and kids and high cholesterol now. So just, it's time to move on. You want to come over tonight with D? That's fine, I, I think. I got to ask my wife first. Okay, gangster. <laughs> hey, hey, where'd you get those shoes? Losers are us. I made them. You made them? In a toilet? <laughs> Just like white precious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave her alone. Hey, what'd you say, Hollywood? Uh, you got something nothing, to say to me? Nothing, nothing. Attention, Kmart shoppers. Uh, let's find a seat, please. Yes, you in the camouflage jacket of Mariah Carey hairdo. Yeah, just pop a squat. Thank you. You're lucky your dad's here, but he won't be here all day. Leave me alone. Bean bag with arms and legs? Seriously, take a seat or seats before someone gets hurt. You're dead, man.